Welcome to another episode of Treasure Reef. And in today's video, I want to share what happened to both of my aquariums where I have overdosed nitrates. Have you ever seen nitrates at 60 ppm? Now you have. So we all know that nitrates are super important in uh, aquarium. One of the issues I've had in my early years of starting keeping reef aquariums was not keeping my phosphates and nitrates at at least detectable uh, levels, but also not trying to keep them at the target levels. I try to keep my nitrates at around 5 to 10 ppm and I try to keep my phosphates at 0.08 ppm. Now that's just uh, a target. Most of the time it does fluctuate and my problem usually um, is to bring some of those parameters down. Now in the aquarium behind me my phosphates have always been super high. I attribute that to primarily a very heavy fish population but also the fact that um, I have a pretty decent sand bed in, in this aquarium. Now, in my coral farm, um, both my phosphates and nitrates would quickly reach zero if I don't dose anything specific. And feeding more, uh, feeding coral, feeding um, fish doesn't seem to help too much. I do use refroids when I want to increase the nutrients, but I find that with any coral food, uh, really it uh, increases the phosphates, but doesn't increase nitrates as much. So I don't dose phosphates, but I do dose nitrates quite regularly. And um, what I have been dosing in uh, both this aquarium and the coral farm is uh, nitrate, magnesium nitrate by ESV. This is something that I've switched to from uh, potassium nitrate that I used to dissolve myself. I find that uh, this solution the, by ESV works very well and I do think that adding magnesium is a little bit easier to test for and, and just maintain in balance than it is for uh, potassium because I don't really want to be testing potassium regularly. Having said that, um, I do have this on a dozer and uh, what happened uh, in both aquariums so in one of them I just uh, I think let it climb up without being in check so the aquarium behind me right now has my uh, nitrates at 30 which is not too alarming but uh, definitely lower sorry higher than where I want them to be I want it to be more at about um, 15 uh, 10 to 15 ppm max now, in my uh, coral farm though, it's much, much, much worse. Uh, I've made a mistake um, when using Mobius. I have it in continuous mode. I've, I think I've uh, removed an extra zero because you can't really easily say, hey, I want to do a continuous mode, but those 10 mils per day. And this is kind of what I was doing. So I, it's a number, it's 0 .0000 six five or something like that so when I've changed it up um, I think I misspelled and I removed one zero now it does say at the bottom how was the daily total is going to be but I didn't pay any attention to that so instead of 10 mils I think it was dosing 100 mils and while it only took a few days before I caught it when I caught it, uh, when uh, nitrate was being measured, he was at a whooping 60 uh, parts per million. And that's pretty alarming. So uh, the point of today's video is to document that, but also to show you what happens to uh, corals when you hit such high PPM. So it is actually not that bad. I was expecting much, much worse. My phosphates have bottomed out, which they sometimes do, but I think a lot of it is also the imbalance of nitrates and phosphates. So I do immediately start dosing coral food. So some refroids, some phytoplankton, some ocean feast to bring up my phosphates to proper levels. But also, I, right before that, I did a water change. That helped, but it, the tank is quite large, so just a few buckets of water brought down the uh, nitrates from 60 to 57, so it doesn't really help much. 
So I'm gonna uh, relax and let um, it take its course. Um, I think I'm gonna gradually bring it down. You don't want to go too fast either. But uh, while some of the corals don't show any symptoms of stress, I found that many Acropora, all they did were they really browned out or went really dark. So they darkened up. It doesn't look good, but I'm not, again, too worried and I'm pretty sure that once I'm gonna be bringing the nitrates down um, over a little bit of time, it's gonna color back up. So I'm documenting this. I'm gonna show you in the video of um, what these corals look like. And uh, I'd be really curious to see how long will it take me to get my nitrates to a regular uh, level. And then how long from today, today is uh, January, uh, 22nd 2022 how long will it take for the coral to color back up I think it will serve as a great reference for um, other reefers out there um, so that when you run into something like this you'll know what exactly to expect and if you ever want to see what my parameters are at you can just go to aquaticlog.com and search for treasure reef or just use um, the link in the comments uh, in the description below and you'll see uh, the full history of my parameters so you'll see all my struggles um, what i've kept and you can cross-reference those numbers to the videos that i try to publish fairly regularly so whether you're um, nitrates or phosphates are too low or too high and you just want to see um, what other people experience this is exactly the goal of this video so I hope uh, you've learned something here I certainly have learned that I have to be more careful in programming my dozer also I think that the dozer ideally should give you some sort of warning when you change it by too much and once again I hope that uh, we all learn from from this and if you have any comments on your experience with this or maybe you think i should be treating it faster or there are some other um, easy ways to bring down the nitrates uh, without shocking the corals please let me know this would be super helpful